Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lizzie's Loot with my beautiful <laughs> wife Elizabeth. I'm just going to show you a few things that she's picked up over the last couple of weeks. It's not necessarily video game related, all of it, but she's going to show you off a few things that she's bought. Go for it. Well, it'll be video games, but still geeky related, and a lot of it is Pokemon, which of course is from the game. You're not going to like Pokemon if you don't like the game. I thought it was a bit silly if you do. Yeah, right, show so, stuff because we're running out of time. Go. Yes, the first, um, the first pickup I got over a uh, car boot, some random scout hut. We sold a few things at the table, managed to pick up a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, managed to find some old Pokemon annuals. I think she said a bit's been coloured in. I haven't really flicked through it, but, you know, it's, it's still a Pokemon annual. Most of the used ones are going to be... Well, used. Very cool. Um, and I will be your person that holds stuff. <laughs> person that holds stuff. A few more annuals, obviously. Um, you know, black and white era. So we got 2012, 2010, 2009. Um, so going back a few years. And then we've got um, the trading card came uh, checklist. Um, got little spaces for the cards, although I can't imagine I'll actually put them in the spaces, but never know see how many we actually get um and then of course the same lady had actual pokemon cards for sale didn't really look through them just sort of grabbed them um but then i see got a nice shiny there always a good deal um yeah just you seem to uh merge them by colors so that was one set and they were two pounds each that was the second set and again, a nice Mel Tang, a hard one to get on Pokemon Go at least, um, as a shiny. And then that took me like the whole length of time to get a chance. I only just caught one on Pokemon Go. Now I've got the card as well. Um, so that whole bundle from the lady plus um, that, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, but it's a build your own Hogwarts. Um, now Hogwarts, the Lego version, goes for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. This shoe's known for 99p, so um, wow. so I thought it's going to be something to build, not quite Lego, but you can't go wrong for 99p. So that whole bundle, um, plus, there we go, nearly forgot them, some Simpsons Lego figures, there were a few there. Um, I think there was another one, I can't seem to find it now, but that was all a tenner. So not too bad considering four Lego figures originally would have been £12. Um, another pickup. Now what we try and do at the um, car boots when we're selling is we try and get in front of the dealers. Now there's one guy who unfortunately decided to lie and say he was selling there uh, actually so he could get in early and try and beat the rest of us but we managed to beat him. There was the guy at the table next to us. I sort of ran to him while the guy was looking at our table um, and beat him on a fantastic box of Lego I got for £10. I don't too much know too much about it, it's one of the really old ones, Mindstorms, but it's, um, it's electronic, which you're never going to get electronic Lego nowadays because it goes for absolutely loads um, and it's completely before my time. Um, so that's something I'm going to have a nice play with, but yeah, £10, and I'm pretty sure if I look it up properly, I'm going to find it came to a lot, lot more than that originally. Um, now, the big one was on Friday, I get a phone call from James, quick, I found some Lego at a charity shop, which is completely unheard of, um, and then he grabbed me these Lego figures, so some X-Men, um, and the best one was Storm, which, rattling away, here we go. And then looking online, mm -hmm. these are all, yeah, these are all at least, there you go. <laughs> They're, they go for at least, you know, 10, 15 pounds each, especially ones where they've got like the accessories. And then Storm, she's got a really unusual cape on the back of her. And then... There you go. Got really unusual cape, and she's got the accessories. The lady at um, the shop has clearly, clearly done her research, managed to look them all up. Thought she'd priced them accordingly, whereas actually she's put two ninety nine, which tends to be 
the fake Lego prices on eBay. Um, I'm not going to complain though, um, because we managed to get her phone number, spoke to her, and the next day she bought in for us uh, her entire bag of Lego. Sorry if you saw a cat tail there, he won't leave me alone, bless him. Um, uh, yeah, so she bought in a huge box, so I managed to get a few of the um, Lego Movie mini figures series, or series mini figures that I'm missing. There you go, so where's my pants guy who's hilarious, I absolutely love him. And then I got two different Emmets, one of whom in this massive pile I've managed to lose, but he's the other one. Um, Oh, here we go. Emmett from the actual co uh, series okay. collection. There you go. You've got longer arms than me. It's fine. Um, and then a couple of... Uh, oh, and we've got the good cop, bad cop as well. And I managed to get a few um, series minifigures, the actual series. Um, only a couple. But she's quite a rare one, the mermaid. I've been collecting them for a few years now. Hang on, I can't get the right angle. There you go. Um, been collecting them for a few years now and she's one I've never found. I don't like paying more than £3 for the minifigures, what they originally went for, because I've picked up so many over the years. I'm at least, I think it was about series 11, 12, I started actually buying them myself at the shops. But I've got about half of the rest so far by my policy of only spending about £3, maybe 4 if it's a rarer one. So, you know, like uh, yesterday buying... That was the cat again. Buying a, uh, it cost 50 quid in the end, but buying so many figures, um, you know, I did quite well. And then we got these two sort of older chaps, Technic Lego as well. Not really collectible, but just something different. I just, you know, it's always good to get something different in the collection. Huge handful of bases, which are always helpful. Do you want to move on and show your Pokemon stuff from over there? Um, yeah, in a minute, that guy, Iron Patriot, came with the original PS3, uh, I think it was the Marvel Avengers game, and that came, uh, that comes on eBay um, to, kind of tends to be like 30, 40 quid, which is absolutely crazy, but you can't buy the game without uh, with him anymore, so that was a really good one, only thing is, he's missing the actual head, but these ones you can get on websites like Bricklink. Right. But not that much. Time, we're going to um, time to stuff. I was literally going to show off, um, I didn't pick them up this weekend, but one of them I finished building, so they're not real Lego, but um, they're these mini blocks from China or Japan, I'm not quite sure where, but they're still really cool. Um, so Pikachu I built a couple of months ago, they really hurt your fingers building them, so it's taken me a few months to get my second one. But I've just finished building Charizard and his wings move. So considering you can't get them officially, I don't really like buying on official Lego. But when you can't get them officially, then at least you're going to have something. And then, um, you know, just thought, show them in the same video. I've had these for absolutely ages, but they're the little Pokemon Lego figures that go with it. And then, um, last but not least managed to finish the um, the McDonald's Pokemon Lego this week oh, Pokemon Lego Pokemon figures this weekend um, been uh, got them all for myself and then one of my little nephews burst out crying because I hadn't got him a Pikachu so not getting him in the very first week was absolutely crazy going to as many McDonald's as I could find to find another one for him but I've managed to get it so one for me one for each nephew and a spare just in um, so I'll just show two of them. I bought the whole collection upstairs before running out of time. These are my two favourites. You might be able to tell we've got some cats. And Liston's my favourite Pokemon, as well as Pikachu. So um, we're running out of time, so I'm trying to keep these videos below 10 minutes if we can. Yeah. So I know it gets a bit boring if you sat there for too long watching one of these videos, that's all. Anything else Fair you want to show? Enough. No, that's, cool. that's all we've got for today. Right, we'll finish there for, today, for this video, and I'll see you next time in the game room. Thank you. Thank you.